Hello, I'm Tanner Aheron with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's closing bell is sponsored by IMI Global, third-party verification and value-added services you can trust. The cattle feeding industry simply cannot catch a break. The early week news of a cyber attack on a major processor led to a flush to the cattle futures market at the open on Tuesday. Once the market received more clarity about the situation, Tuesday's losses were more than an offset on Wednesday, and June live cattle are on pace to end the week a dollar higher. Unfortunately, the loss processing time led to a fed slaughter shortfall of roughly 40,000 head when there is no room for air, which adds to an already front-end weighted fed supply. Still, the fed cash market traded light to moderate volumes in the north at $120 live and $190 to mostly $191 dressed, steady compared to last week. The south saw cattle trade at $119 to $120, which is also steady. One positive data point that was released Thursday was a six pound drop in steer carcass weights for the week ending May 21st. At 888 pounds, weights were 13 pounds lower than 2020, making it the second straight week of below year ago levels. In the cash feeder market this week, cattle traded steady to $2 firmer. Thursday's CME feeder cattle index was quoted at $136.65 which is $6.50 off the May low. Prices should continue to seasonally trend higher. Calves were mixed from $3 lower to $2 higher compared to last week. Spot volume will be light in the short term, while calf demand is also limited. As a result, look for the calf market to trade mostly sideways with strong support in the low to mid 160s basis the US average price. Another thing that came from this week's slaughter disruption was continued support to the beef cutout, with production levels much smaller than expected. From Thursday to Thursday, choice boxes advanced $10.57 and the select cutout increased $9.06. The grain markets remained volatile, with the spot corn futures ending the week up $0.22 cents after trading as much as $0.40 cents higher throughout the week. Thanks for watching and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis.